Ask people in Kiev what they did this weekend and they'll tell you they overthrew a president. Into the early hours, thousands continued to occupy a now calm Independence Square. But there are two Ukraines. Welcome to the east, where the streets are also full of protesters, but those who are against the revolution. Here they speak Russian, look to Russia, and until 48 hours ago had a president who embraced closer cooperation with a country they were once a part of. But that meant abandoning stronger trade links with Europe, something people in Kiev wanted, and so began their movement against Yanukovych, leaving two sides now battling it out face to face. While the international community is concerned about the country breaking up, with some worried about a new east-west split on the continent, an acting Ukrainian president has been appointed. Speaking on television, Alexandra Tetchinov supported the idea of allying with the EU. We have to return to the family of European countries, he said, although he also stressed the importance of ties with Russia. The statements that I've uh, seen that he's made are encouraging, uh, namely, on the one hand, uh, reopening discussions with Europe, but on the other hand, maintaining good neighborly relations with Russia. And this is the kind of... Um, this is the kind of split the difference thing that I think he needs to do in, in order to hold a very divided country together. Baroness Ashton, who's a senior figure in Europe, will visit Kiev today to discuss EU support as politicians around the globe look at where next for Ukraine. A partition of the country would not be acceptable. The Ukrainian people will determine their own future. They want to be Western, Bob. That's what this whole hundreds of thousands in the square was all about. They don't want to be uh, Eastern. In just a few short days, Ukraine has moved through the height of unrest to ousting a president and the search for a political future with the world watching intently. But unity and stability are now at stake. Simon Clemerson, BBC News.